Hello everybody, this is Vicki from the Eagle's Nest. Welcome to my channel. I am doing the um, flip throughs of my finished journals. I'm gonna do two of them in this video. This is the first one. I have this um, seam binding that I just tied it to the string and then I can just wrap it around and it's secure and it won't be lost if they open it up. So this is the cover. I just put some paper and a little scripture. Open it up. I have a pocket with two cards. They can journal if they want. I'm not a journaler, but someone could be. And I have this tag. I put some uh, stickles on that for a sparkly effect. And I have these two. Other scripture and the little tag here I'm gonna go kind of quickly and I have this little this was an index card this is a corner tuck this is a copy I made from a hymnal that I actually got from church they were getting rid of them and I have this tag here stickles and I have this flip up this page just left blank. This is a belly band with this journal card. Another hem. Just stick those back in there. And these had little pockets that I found little um, tickets and such for. They're a little tight, but that way you know they won't fall out. And then I have this page. This was a little utensil bag from a restaurant with a tag in there. Two journal cards. These are from Carolyn's Musings, which a lot of stuff in here is from Carolyn's Musings. She is on Facebook and YouTube and Etsy. And this is a window pocket tag featuring Jesus and I just stapled on some lace there a little pocket here with some little things that I use. these these may be from my porch prints I'm not 100% sure on that because I did get some stuff from my porch prints as well this is a tag I wanted to say this came from Janie B. Journals, Etsy store. And I put a, um, some securing. I made these on a video to make the pages a little more durable. This is an envelope flip open with this tag. These did come from uh, Janie B. I mean, uh, I want to say these are from Carolyn's Musings, but some are from Janie B. Journals as well. So, And I glued some lace with some little um, halfback pearls on that journaling card. This is a flip open. And I just put this here to secure this. And this was a dangle that I made on a video. And we have this page. Okay, this is my center. I put the doily in here. And I have little charms. I have a butterfly and a cross. This is a tag, little stickles. And this, I wrapped this around and made a pocket. And I put these um, tickets from Carolyn's Musings. This paper is definitely, well, I think it's from Janie B. Journals. Could be from, I'll look it up and I'll put it in the description. Um, more tags and journal cards. These I got from the internet. I just 
found them, printed them, cut them out. This is a side tuck with this card. And I made these little mason jars and I just, I wanted to include it even though I didn't know what to put on it. So I just left it blank and put it in there just because I liked it. Another one of my page trims. This I stamped to kind of mimic that. This is an envelope that I don't know how I put that. I might have just glued it in, I'm not sure. Don't remember, it was a long time ago. Journal card, little pocket. Another page, this is another hem. Card. And this is my uh, barn door. I put some washi tape here for strength. Another hem, journal card. This is the other part of the envelope. I did cut the, this part and they do have to glue the little bits and pieces there. Tag. Ten Commandments, which I found on the internet. Pictures from the internet. This is an envelope flip open. Journaling space. Another pocket with a, a journal card. This is definitely from Carolyn's Musings from Second Coming. That was the name of the kit. And this little key uh, paper clip is from Timu. More cards and tags. I didn't put toppers on every tag. I just thought it'd just be too many. Too many. And this was a little dangle I made in a video. Um, hmm. There we go. And another embellishment there. Uh, stickles. And the last little journal card with the side pocket. And I added the little pocket here and I put these little uh, tickets in there. And on the back, Made my little made by tag. And so this can just be tied in a bow. There you go. And now for the second one. This is my guide journal. So I had to do this one a little differently because I didn't want all the frou frou and frilly flowery thing so I got some denim found this on the internet different denim uh, papers I downloaded and printed and I found these little gears somewhere on the internet and he comes to church every Sunday they stop by Dunkin Donuts and he comes with his coffee so I made that and this tag found the belt somewhere probably on the internet. So I'm trying to make this a little more manly. And I have this and this. This I had in my, uh, I have a scrapbooking folder from when I used to do digital scrapbooking. I have a lot of elements, a lot of papers. So I do go to that from time to time. I believe I found these in there, in that folder. And I made this, I glued two together to make it look like a piece. And this was some junk mail. This pretty little paper, I saved it, found a use for it. And then I have this little door, I have a map. This came from my uh, scrapbooking folder. And I just used some, um, uh, 
those drops. I'll think of the name in a second. <laughs> I have that. This came from Paulette Slater. She's on Facebook. I have a hem in here. Uh, pearl drops. Pearl Nuevo drops. Let's see. I'll just get one. Liquid pearls. That's what this was. Probably in copper or something like that. And this was just a card. I stamped on that one. And this was an initial for him. And I found these little... I think they were actually in my scrapbook program. It has some uh, kits, and I think that was in there. This is the tag here. We saw that in the last one. And I put some little tickets in here. This kit here was um, from My Porch Prints called Shabby Woods. I used those in there. Stamped on that one. This was from the kit as well. Uh, reinforcement. This I found on the internet. Well, this was meant to go like this. Okay. You just never know how people are going to turn things. Internet. In this pocket. I love my little gecko guy. I had to use him. Had to use him in here. So, you know, you have your little surprises as they open it up and go through it. And they find cute little things. Trying to be manly here. And this is the flip open. Again with his initial. Then I have this. This is an envelope. I didn't leave it a pocket. I didn't want him to have a bunch of girly things. So this was in my digital scrapbooking folder. And I found all these little things. Some of these came from, I had a, I used to do the uh, scrapbook desk calendar. I got like three years in a row they had them and I quit making them. I've saved them all, so they have cute little things in there. And then I have this page, little trim, Paulette Slater, with the uh, liquid pearls. And I found these, I think I found those on the internet when I was looking at something, and I thought, oh, those are cute, so I cut those out and glued those there to give it that manly look. And I have a seahorse and a cross for his little dangles there. And then I have this from the internet. Um, Carolyn's Musings. This was in my folder. And here's this. I found the door handle and the hinges on the internet. This is from uh, My Porch Prince Shabby Woods Collection. And then I have this denim pocket that I found from the internet. And I did put a eyelet in his and I have this little fish. I believe that's looked like a catfish to me. Don't know that much about fishing, but looked like a catfish. And then I have this uh, silverware envelope. Made this one with the dangle. And I just left this as it was, just because. And then this was from the internet. Little rivets from I'm, I want to say those were in the uh, scrapbook um, program. And here was another envelope. This is another 
him with this. This I glued up uh, the picture onto a pocket that was from the internet. My porch prints, shabby woods. And I just thought of something I meant to point out. These are more journal cards. Another him. This I copied from a picture in a book, I think. And then I have this side pocket. I glued the uh, little gears on the pocket with the little tickets. And I have this. And just, this is just a piece of paper for writing. And then this card, I did a library card for a, a journal card. And I have this that I thought was really cute, kind of manly. And then this side had the scripture. But I remembered something I did in here and the page was flimsy so I had to it was a flip up let me find it wasn't that wasn't that oh it was this I used um, a heavier paper it wasn't quite cardstock but it was a heavier paper and then when I glued the other paper it made it thick and then when I folded this down to glue it on here it was really really flimsy so I did take and glue this on there to make it more sturdy so sometimes you just have to do things like that to fix something that was cute but was kind of not a good idea because everything you put in here can't be light so this was the manly journal I used um twine and heavier twine for these and there you have it so these were the first two that I'm doing the flip throughs through and I will do the other two in another video because I wanted to keep it kind of short Alrighty, thank you for watching everybody and have a nice day.